Good morning, campers. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Just bear with me a minute while I get my iPad up and running so I can see all your lovely comments and positive words because it's Wednesday. And today, is anybody watching? I didn't charge my laptop, that might be a problem, but that's okay. Do you need a plug? Uh, nah, I've got 16%, how bad can it go? Oh. Nah, I'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm gonna back you up, man. You're gonna back me up. Good morning, Lynn. How are you, my love? How are you indeed? I hope you are well. Good morning, Lorraine. Oh, good, now they're starting with an air compressor and a grinder across the road. Did oh. nobody tell them I'm doing a live Facebook? How rude. Oh, seriously. Oh, you know what? That's fine. <laughs> How funny. Ah, look, there's a few of you tuning in. So it's Wednesday and look, just be kind. That is what Wednesday is all about. Uh, today we, oh, good morning, Amanda. How are you? Um, Wednesday. So, for those of you who are just tuning in for the first time, what we are doing today, and what I've been doing every day this week, is a short little arty session just to bring a little bit of colour into your day and um, have a bit of a chat about life, lockdown, arty things, but also reward you by giving you... Huh, um, by giving you a little discount for the day only. So for today, you can jump online and place an order. And if you head to the checkout and type in just be kind, just be kind in the um, like coupon discount code section, you're gonna get 20% off stamps, okay? So that is all about you. It's all about being grateful for you guys um, and loving what you're doing. So before I start though, this is something that Louise pointed or we, we found yesterday on the interwebs. Um, Action for Happiness is called and they have got these really cool little calendars. Something about, you know, a positive word for every day. So when your day is turning to shit because you're in lockdown or you are not feeling fantastic, have a look and see what is happening for today. So today is share, oh, let me bring it up to camera. Today's the 11th, isn't it? Yeah. Today is share an encouraging news story to inspire others. So when you're thinking about how bad today is or how you're not feeling fantastic, have a look at this and have a bit of a read. All right. Because that's what Louise and I are doing. We are looking on the bright side. Oh, the grinding stop. I don't feel like I have to yell at you. Sorry, guys. Um, so what I want to do today is I've got a couple of gifts that I'm sending out to people this week. Um, people in my, in my immediate circle, people who are, have done something to make me, make my day, make my life a little bit easier. And I'm sending out a little bit of a thank you to these people just to, to show them that I appreciate them. So I have, I wanna do some little gift tags for their package. Uh, this is something that I love to do that's usually quick and easy and I'm going to use a couple of stamps today to do this and that's a lot of gesso. Uh, and I just wanna do a little swipe of gesso because the tag that I've got here is some old tags that I pulled out of the drawer and decided I was going to use. And I managed to get it almost everywhere else. Uh, so, and I'm not being stressed about how, how perfect it is. I'm just wanting to get it on there. And I'm gonna dry that off. Um, Tina, how lucky, lucky people and you deserve every support. Um, thank you, Tina. Nice words, love that. I am a firm believer in giving out and getting back. Um, I think that it takes absolutely nothing to be kind to 
say some nice words to someone, to get a little bit of love and appreciation and to also give it, give it indeed. I'm more of a giver than I am a receiver and I'm okay with that. That's really important to me that I, I'm grateful for the people that are around me. I think that it's a, it's an important part of your day to feel loved and to feel, uh, to, to, to show people the love as well. Um, the little things make all the difference. And every now and again, I just like to give out a little bit of love just to show the people around me how important it is. Um, I'm just gonna grab my baby wipes. And have those handy because I can see a painty mess coming up here. Can't believe they're grinding across there. Seriously, guys. And it's pouring with rain here. It is absolutely bucketing. Oh, Linda. Oh, Linda's on my speakerphone. <laughs> How funny. Um, going through the McDonald's drive through Even better. I'll have a large skim latte. Thank you. How funny. Okay, so what I'm going to do, the tags that I've got here are just a heavyweight cardstock, something that I pulled out of my little tag drawer that I've got. And what I want to do is lay down some colour. And I'm going to do two different ones here. I'm going to do one in warm colours and one in cool colours. And I'm going to do a little bit of... Oh, you're at... I thought you said you're in a boat, Tina. Um, I'm going to do some here like that. And I'm going to, so I'm using a combination of paper artsy and, and Dina Wakeley and Dilusions paints. I'm, I'm not going to worry too much about what brand I'm using and I'm just getting it on there. Using the back of my catalyst tool. So using the back of my knife here um, I've got my heat gun handy because I'm going to be super impatient with the drying of paint today. Uh, so this one's going to be my cooler tag, although this colour here is a little bit too warm for my liking. So I'm going to use blues over here. And I'm going to get the colours out while this is drying. And then on this side, I'm going to use pinks and pinks and um, oh, I really don't want to use purple, but yeah, it's really wet here too, um, Tina. It is just, it's just going to be drizzling all day, I think. All right, so I might just pop the pink tag aside and just commit to the blue one to start with. Um, so I'm just going to start layering up my colours, okay? And nothing more than getting it on there, giving it a little bit of a swipe. And I'm going to be doing some stamping over the top of this, maybe a little bit of stencil a bit later. Oh, God, that grinding's horrendous. Tell you what, they won't want to be doing that out the front of my office all day. I won't be thrilled. Could do without that in my life. So, um, like I mentioned before, the this week is just all about giving back to you guys and sharing some, some arty love for those of you who are in lockdown um, or who are working from home or need a little bit of a creative break you can go back and watch these videos of course at any time and today only you can get 20% off all stamps in the store in the uh, nataliemay.com.au 20% off but you do need to use the code just be kind all right um <laughs> actually I probably go some uh, fr some fries with my coffee this morning to be honest um thank you Linda for the, the offer notes. use the note Use the notes section. So if you want us to post your order today, then please just write in the notes section. Post today or please hold until tomorrow or whatever because we might have another special tomorrow. I haven't worked out what it is yet. 
cross that hurdle when tomorrow comes. But the whole idea is, is we're looking after you. Okay. And if you do decide to do another order tomorrow and you want to add to your um, order, just pay postage a second time. And what we will do is... Uh, refund one of your postages. Um, I'm just popping some green back up in this section here because it's not very balanced. I've got green here, I've got green here, but there's not a lot of green up there because I went over it. So I'm just going to add a touch of green because it has to be balanced as well. Even though it's a bit of a painty, painty mess, it's all about a bit of balance. And in a moment, I'm going to pop some more of this blue on, okay? But I will be adding some stamping over the top of this shortly and adding just a little bit of stenciling as well, all right? In fact, I'm just gonna pop that aside to dry. Crack out another bit of paper towel and now do my pink one. So I'm gonna jump in with a bit of fluoro, just gonna wipe that excess blue off my palette knife. So the catalyst tool that I'm using, I, I'm, I'm fairly certain every single one of you already has one of these catalyst tools because I know that you've all bought one, uh, but it is my, my go-to palette knife. It's what I've always used. I love it. I've used one for about 10 years now, and I think that they are an excellent tool and they come clean. You can see how well loved mine is. Uh, I do absolutely, that's a lot of paint. I do love it. That's way too much paint. So, I'm do a bit of that. So that is the fluorescent tropical sangria dilutions paint. Dry, dry, dry. Bubblegum Paper Artsy Paint. Did I already use that? Did I start with that? I started with that. Maybe. Let's, let's test it out. Oh no, it's a slightly different colour. So this one is a bit more orange based. This is Prawn. So some of you may or may not have noticed, I put a note up on the website yesterday about um, postage. Australia Post are under the pump, as you can probably imagine. Everybody is doing a little retail therapy um, and I'm very grateful for that and I'm sure a lot of other businesses are as well. But please be patient with your postage. We are doing our best to get things out to you as soon as possible. Uh, we are just Two, uh, two chicks here trying to do all the things and we have no control about what happens once it leaves here. We can only do so much. Um, Australia Post, I guess, are um, struggling. struggling. They've hit Struggle Town. Bit a bit, bit of magenta to soften up that, that colour there that I was going with. Gosh, that grinding, seriously. All right, so that's quite pink at the moment. So what I would like to do is I wanna give it a little pop. I wanna give it a little lift. So my, my blue green tag that I did, my cooler colors has got that pop of, uh, that contrasting pop of color underneath. So what I do need to do is give this one something a little bit more. So in just a second, once I get all of this dry, I'm going to pop on perhaps a little stenciling in a contrasting colour on this one. Can you hear that, Tina? Is that seriously coming through the um, live, that noise? Of course it is, because that's Murphy's Law. Oh, now they've stopped. Um, 
Yeah, you can. They're grinding. They've got the grinder out. They're grinding concrete in the street across. Here they go again. I can see him. I swear he just waited for me to go live. You think he's watching? Actually, I was going to use a stencil. But I'm, and I'm just going to get on here. And I've got turquoise. Turquoise is my favourite contrasting colour with pinks. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that, Susan. I cannot control certain things. Um, and, yeah, the um, the grinding in the background is one of those things that we just have to go, oh, well, you know, that's life. Suck it up. All right, see how good that looks? Just that pop of colour. And that's just turquoise. But the trick is to make sure that everything is uh, everything else underneath is dry and then you're going to get that really cool pop. Yeah, Tina, he should be watching me. Does he not know who I am? For goodness sakes. <laughs> just, Louise, just pop over there and say, excuse me, we're doing a live Facebook here, guys. I was going to, and then I went, oh, no, let's, let, let's not bring that up. Let's not ruin the friendship with the neighbours. They're probably council workers. They are probably council workers. All right. Oh, Susan. Susan says I'm coming through loud and clear. Yeah, I don't doubt that for a second, oh, babe. Just off the machine, so he's just. Oh, is it smoko time? Surely it's smoko time. I feel like I want to add some um, some yellow, a pop of yellow to this, like a bright yellow. Where's my lemon? Here we go. My lemon Dina Wakeley paint. How many how many men does it take to grind? How many how many men does it take to grind a hole in the pavement? What do you what's your count there, Lou? It's getting up there? Of course it is. They're all it, popping in their opinion? Yeah, everyone. They all have an opinion. Of course they do. Because they can all do it better. Council workers. Miracles will occur. Correct. All right. So there's just a little bit of pop of yellow in there just to give it a get-go. Give it a pump. Right. Two colours. Super quick. Little little back of the... You'll notice I also use the, the flat bit. No, they're not good eye candy. No, they're, no. they're well and truly... Um, mature, mature, mature council workers. We'll call those. Very mature. Um, Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just popping these paints aside, trying to make a bit of a clean spot. So yes, using the back of my palette knife, is enabling me to give that real swipey, um, casual sort of look. And um, now that's Louise taping up your parcels. Oh, for goodness sakes. Um, all right, done. Love that. I'm just going to put that sideways so you can all see. Dun, dun, dun. And then this one. Love that contrasting colour. Okay, let's get a bit of stamping on here now. So today, 20% off stamps, stamps, stamps. So 20% off of uh, all the brands. So I have got here a few little paper artsy ones. And I'm just going to be lazy and do a little bit of loose stamping like so. And I want an off stamp. I want that real shadowed stamp. So stamping just once and then adding... Um, bum, bum, bum. Oh, I really like that one. And then um, just, you know, cleaning my stamp off on the paper rather than re-inking it every time. Kind of cool. And doing that one. Oh, I do like this one. Hey, Louise, if I give you that packet, can you just make that happen? What do you want? Oh, yeah. Um, so that has just done that. I love that. Um, and what I would like to do now is I want to add some stamped images to this. So I've pulled out some Tracy Scott Paper Artsy Designs. And let's have a look here. Now, I'm going to get a little glare with these packets, so please just um, be patient. All right, so I love these. I love these Tracy Scott designs from Paper Artsy. Um, these are all on special today as well. So 
And again, you guys know how much I love red, red rubber. That's really important to me. I, um, I mean, hey, let's be honest, I like all rubber. But um, Louise, don't laugh at that. Thank you. That's rude. Um, and this one, I like the little doodles in between. So I do like that you get quite a range with those. And this one as well. What have we got here? So they're the flowers. I felt like flowers today. Number 22. That's got the word fly with it. Maybe I'll use that one. Um, maybe I just make a decision and use TS020. So I thought that I might just do a little stamping over the top. Now with these. Uh, and do I use my stamp press or do I just commit to it? What's the vote? I know, rubber and doodles all in one live. I know, Karen. Thanks, Dom. Uh, okay, so I'm going to do this one. I'm going to go here, here, and here. And I'm going to finish both of them off with butterflies. I think that's a great idea. Uh, okay, so... You know what? I'm not in the mood for messing up my stamping today. I'm not 100% confident that I'm going to nail it the first time. So I'm going to pull out my stamp press. Uh, and this is the... The go-to way, of course, of doing, of, of getting your, your stamping perfect the first time. If you don't have one of these, just, just bite the bullet and do it because they are darn good. So that first one is going to go there. Put the arm down. Ink that baby up. Oh, no, missed a bit. I've got the advantage of being able to go back and put it on again. That one I want to go there. Pop it down. Sorry about the glare. And I just re-inked my, uh, my ink pad. This is a, a black, a jet black archival ink pad. I've just re-inked that so it's nice and juicy. Juicy, juicy. And now we're going to go in here. Do the same thing again. So I'm just going to go with three. And I'm going to pop that aside. Clean my stamp. That's a really nice stamp. Other tag. Other tag. Put my magnets on. Don't forget these magnets are also available if you feel the need to replace your magnets. So I'm going to go with some smaller ones this time. Um... You know, Tina, Tina's just commented that uh, her her internet is playing up where she is. The cool thing about these little videos is they will be added to YouTube. And you can go back and watch them at any time. So you can get these little tips and tricks. And you can go back any time. And um, when you go back a second time, you can also mute me. That's a bonus. Nobody else gets to do that. But... I'm just going to slide that up, pop that down there. Oh, here we go again. He goes the grinding. Oh, goodness me. See, I can't even have any music playing to drown out the grinding because it's all copyright. Tell Tina I'm sending her September outfit. Who's that, sorry? Tina. Tina. Louise is posting today. Tina, Tina Stoy. Louise is posting today your September art journal kit. Else's. And everybody else's if you have signed up. So there's a great little kit coming your way. If you have signed up to do the September Art Journal class. We do it online and like I said, you can go back and watch it anytime. You can go back and uh, you've got permanent access to, 
to the um, to the videos, which is fantastic. Um, the stamps that I'm using, Helen, is, these are paper artsy stamps, and this is TS020 from Paper Artsy Fly Away Set. Um, really, really nice, actually. I shouldn't sound so surprised by that. You know they always nail it. And I'm going to add in a, another little image here, just for a little balance, because it's got quite a few little flowers on that, and some what almost look like succulents. I don't know, succulent. That's my big word for a Wednesday. You're admiring that I knew what plant it was. Yeah, well, you know, as we know, plants are not my um, superpower. Gardening is certainly not my. Um... Oh, I suck at gardening. Just leave it at that, hey. And that's okay because you can't be good at everything, right? Cooking, cleaning, wiping, parenting. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna get my stamp press out the way. And I've got two here. So because uh, archival ink is an oil-based ink, I'm just going to heat set that so I don't smudge it. And because it's super wet and super juicy, I'm just gonna make sure that they are dry before I do my next step, which is, I don't really know what my next step's gonna be, but it might, in, might involve a white pen. And, oh, the butterflies, I forgot about the butterflies. Okay, I wanna stick some butterflies on. This set's got some fantastic butterflies. So I'm gonna put one on one page and one on the other. So I wanna cut those out. And I might just, I've got just a plain piece of cardstock here, and I wanna put, Um, some a lot of paint on that's not as much as I was hoping so I just want to go like this and putting it on really really roughly a little bit of that color yep that'll do blending the colors into each other so it's not all going to be the same colour. Bit of DNA in it as well, bit of fingerprint. And then this butterfly, this butterfly will go, this colour one will go on the um, aqua paper, on the aqua blue tone butterfly, oh, sorry, tag, and then I'll do one here I'll stamp onto that in a minute. And I've got another piece of cardstock here and a pink finger. Morning, Christine. How are you, darling? Have you, how's the, um, I hope you're getting some weather over there on the coast, on the, uh, on the peninsula. I hope that it is um, raining. I think we, yeah, we do want rain this time of year. That's gonna be good for the crops. I should know that this, that's a straight up thing because my husband works in the grain industry. You know, should be a given. So just by spreading it out, just by spreading it out with my fingers is drying it off really quickly as well. Um, it's also giving a really nice blended sort of feel Missed a big bit in the middle there. So let's go back in with this. Oh. Hello, Lana. Thank you for joining. So for those of you who have just joined in, welcome. I hope your Wednesday is going great wherever you are. And I hope that you're um, creating up a storm and... As much as we hate the lockdown, wherever you are, wherever you're coming from, I hope that you are making the best of it. I hope that you're touching base with people and talking to your friends, touching base with your neighbours, checking in to make sure that they're all okay. 
because that is really important. It's not always about you. Uh, oh, good morning, Elizabeth. You've just crawled out of bed. Oh, bless your cotton socks. Yes, and we all did census last night. I did my census the night before because my life doesn't change and I know exactly where I am every bloody night. But that's okay. Um, and yes, yeah, census night. It doesn't feel like that long ago since we did the last one, to be honest. How long? Five years. I reckon my answers are still the same, just quietly. Except for the age bit. Pretty sure that changed. I didn't get any younger in five years. All right, so now I'm going to stamp my butterfly onto that pink. So this, this particular stamp set, oh, nailed it first time. This particular stamp set has two butterflies in it. So I'm going to um, put that one on that side, that one on the other one. Dun, dun, dun. Which part of this do I like? I could do two butterflies. Then I have to cut two out. Let's just do one butterfly. Don't overthink it, Natalie. Don't overthink it. The Sandra's just commented saying beautiful stamps. They are really nice stamps. And what I do love is that you can always have a look at Tracy Scott on Pinterest or over on her Facebook page or Facebook group and see some other amazing things to do with this stamp set. She's fantastic at sharing Missed a bit there that's bugging me, but I think it's in the paint. Um, there's there's lots of fabulous idea. I'm really, really good at showing multiple ways of using the same stamps. And that's really, really important to me. Um, I like to make sure that if I'm going to buy something, if I'm going to buy a, a tool or a or a stamp or an ink or something like that, that there's multiple ways of using that particular product. I find that that's a really, really smart way of creating, um, or of, of purchasing at, at least. Um, so I'm just quickly going to cut these out with my Timmy scissors. And so I need someone to sing a song in the background for me. No, not really. All right, so what else is happening in the super studio? Um, I am in the process oh, in the process at the moment of working on a masculine scrapbooking kit. And in the process, I'm, I'm halfway through the pages. Um, I'm not too sure when that will be up online, but I am working on doing the creating at the moment. And then I have to do the instructions and we'll get it up online. I hope to see it up online, uh, hopefully by this time next week. And I have a, another range, a few different ranges of papers put aside to do kits out of. All right, I'm not a fan of antenna, all right? Antennae, antenna, antenna, antennas. The pointy bits on butterflies. <laughs> yes, I know. So I'm just going to cut those off. And that's okay. Because who, the two people who I give these um, butterflies to are not going to know if there were antenna on it or not. And they don't care because they're going to appreciate the fact that I went through and made these. Whoops. And one of these lovely tags, what is going on here? One of these tags is for somebody who is currently in lockdown in Melbourne for the 1100th time. Um, so I'm hoping, and she did something very nice for me that um, I'm very appreciative of. So for the little bit of time that it takes to... Kerry ann can you just come here and cut these scissors out for me, please? I know you're a boss at 
fussy cutting. Um, but yes, I know that she's, you know, took the time to, to do something for me just because I um, put it out there and putting back a little bit more good karma. All right, nearly done. And I'm gonna put this straight onto my, actually I'll cut the other one out before I lose interest, let's be honest. I should have got Louise to cut these out while I was to filming. Now, I would have turned the camera around to film that. Crafting is not Louise's um, superpower. But she has the most incredible product knowledge now. For someone who has come into this crafting business and knew nothing. And knew nothing. Kept calling st uh, stencils dyes. Yeah, I know Michelle. Michelle Pentland reckons that she'd just about pay to see you craft, Louise. <laughs> settle. Settle, settle, griddle. Um, but no, and that's okay. We know what Louise's superpower is. And that is people and netball. She's a netball god. I'm going to cut off the... Oh, now, Linda called them something. What do you call them, Linda? Probiscus. Probiscus? Everybody knows I just said that wrong. Okay, so for those of you who are just tuning in, um, sorry you have to go through this painful bit of watching me fussy cut butterflies and waffle on. Um, Every day this week, I'm doing a little live Facebook in the morning and I am going to do something different every day. No idea what tomorrow is going to be and I don't know what tomorrow's special is going to be. But if the only way that you can get the special and get the special code is if you watch the videos. So the video, sorry, the special code for today is just be kind. So if you jump online to nataliemay.com.au, you will get 20% off at the checkout on stamps for today only. All right? God, sorry that was so painful to watch me cut those out, people. Okay, so if I put that on there, it's going to get lost. If I put that on there, it's going to get lost. But if I do that and I do that, boom. Boom not lost. The other thing that's going to work is a bit of black and white pen. So before I stick that on there, that's what I want to do. So on here, I need to give this a frame. How am I going for time, Lou? Uh, 25 to 11. All right. I've been waffling on for 40 minutes. Sorry, guys. Um, that stamping took me longer than it needed to be. I needed to... So I'm going to now just put a little bit of black outline on that one. Pop that aside to dry. Bit of black outline on here. And I also mentioned before, if you have already done an order, then we would love to combine your orders and post them to you tomorrow. The, um, just put another order through and pop hold in the comments because what will happen is we will refund your postage and we'll refund your postage and uh, on your second or third order or fifth order as the case may be and um, pop them, combine them all together. Okay, look after you guys. Um, so I could go over this now and add lots of little details with my paint pens. I've got quite a few different Pintor paint pens and lots of different colours. And what I love about the Pintor paint pens is that they go over the top of acrylic paint beautifully. So I'm just going to quickly do them on the, on the background spots of these, of the, of the pink tag. I don't want to do all the flowers. Um, I thought about doing the flowers and then went, eh, no. 
Oh, Shell's just commented any retreat hints. <laughs> oh, of course, darling. There's plenty of retreat hints. Is in our brain. Get out of my head, girl. Um, we are going to be aiming to release the details of the retreat. Tomorrow. We're working on them, I did say today, but I may need to break that promise because today suddenly got really full. But we'll be working on it this afternoon and uploading it to the website tomorrow with some payment plan options looking after you guys there'll also be some information of course about how how interstate people how you're going to fare etc making all of that happen um i'm just going to grab a different color pen we have an incredible guest teacher coming in and they could be from South Australia. They could be from Queensland. They could be from anywhere. I'm just not going to tell you. Um, so I'm not announcing that until this afternoon. But you are all going to get on it. And this is a in-person event. This is not a virtual retreat we want to see you guys in the flesh okay and that's really important that we all get together and see each other okay so i've got pink butterfly going on there green butterfly going on there i just want to add a little bit of lightness with some gesso oh, or a lot of gesso again i need to control that gesso um Somebody asked me the other day, actually, what gesso I use. This is my go-to gesso. Without a shadow of a doubt, it is my absolute favourite because it is Liquitex. And Liquitex are the kings of gesso. They are the, the company that formulated it. Um... And that is why I like that particular brand. So my little swipes of gesso just on the back are just giving a little lightness. Um, yeah, it is going to be a great break for interstate travellers. And we're looking at the, um, the gorgeous Adelaide Hills again. And it's going to be right up your alley. And there's quite a few girls watching today who came this year and loved every minute and some people who also traveled from interstate and loved every minute um so yeah it's a it's a great great event all right so that's going to get stuck on there that's going to get stuck on there that little bit of white just gave it a pop and now i'm going to put these girls names on this tag hey louise could you grab some in the basket on the shelf behind you where my stash is is the basket of string and stuff there's some really thin string i know it probably just all looks the same um yeah that one thank you um it just needs a little texture so what i'm going to do is if i oh my staplers in my uh, on my desk Got but it. i'm just going to wrap that around like so Knowing when to stop is important. About two turns ago would have been the shop. Where did I put my scissors? Thanks, Dal. Um, which one do you think, Louise? For Rosanna. The, the Rosanna. Rosanna. The blue one or the pink tag? Blue. The blue tag. So I'm just going to tie some string around for texture. And I'm um, going to staple that on there to secure. with all the staples apparently uh, and that's going to go there and I'll do the same one here and I'm going to go down here um, Susan Susan look honey I know that there's a chance that you might be there for a little bit um, in Sydney but you know if th this is this is next year we're talking May next year all right so a lot can happen between now and then and got to be positive all right we got to be positive we can't just sit here and go well i'm not going to leave the house because covid's going to eat me alive and, and theoretically 80 percent of us will be back 
and that's right. 80% of us will be vac vaccinated by then. We'll be able to travel a lot more. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's my standard answer to everything. It'll be fine. All right, so I've cracked out some gold thickers. These are the woodland thickers. And I'm going to put the girls' names on here. I could tie that around there. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to get the spelling correct. Now, Louise, why are you counting on your fingers, lovely? Because Vasana's name's quite long. I know her name's quite long, which is why I've got this set, because it's got lots of S's in it. I was just thinking about the spatial. You're, you're thinking about my spatial elements? Well, let me show you a little trick. So Louise is quite concerned here, <laughs> bless you, that my I don't have enough room. Could you go and grab the clear ruler that is on my trolley, please? And I will show you my trick for putting down... Oh, not that one. Let's go with the one without the stamps all stuck all over it. There's one standing up next to the paintbrushes. Thank you. That's wonderful. You'll make a great assistant to someone one day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Rosanna's name on. And I'm going to do it this way. So I'm going to go R. Ah. O. Poor Louise. <laughs> Calm down, Perry Ann. Poor Louise. I think it's poor me. R O S S. Now, Rosanna, if you are watching this, just close your eyes because it's going to be a surprise. A. Have those men stopped because it's pouring with rain again? I hope oh, they so. don't do rain. They don't do rain. N. So a clear ruler or a piece of acetate does the job just like some fancy, you know, tool. Did I spell it right? Mm-hmm. Excellent. Right. So there's the spelling of her name on a clear ruler. So now I can go like that. Oh. But I'm actually thinking I'm going to do this. I want to go, I'm going to put my butterfly in the middle here and I want to pop that up there. Mm. Okay. So that... Look at you go. Nailed it. Look at that. Like a, like a boss. That's why they pay me the big bucks there. I can tell you. Right there. Hashtag nobody's paying me the big bucks. Um, now I'm going to get my puzzle glue. Oh, you know what would have been better? But I'd have to get Louise to do it and I'm not going to do it. And I've committed to the glue. A foam, foam dot would have been great. But it's done, Louise. It's done. I glued. And now I've created some antenna with the string. Oh, look at that. Perfect. And I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> All right. Okay, one done. Now my second my second tag is for somebody who is equally awesome. And her name starts with E. Much shorter. Now I'm having thoughts about, no, Carrie Ann, it's not for you. Now I'm just confused on, I'm pretty sure that's how I spell it. Let me just, there's no, fan, oh, see, now I second guess myself. No, that's right. Sorry, I just had to look it up on my tablet to make sure I don't mess it up. No fancy spelling. Right. So here, because her name is shorter, I can whack it there, I can whack it there, I can pop it there.
I like it there. Oh, I love it when someone comes to the door when you're filming. All right, so now uh, Louise bought me all the foam dots. And you'll notice that I had a big top up of foam dots and tape and bits and pieces as well. All right, so just finishing that off now. Um, the... Oh, get that off there. Get that up there. And I'm just going to tie these knots back a bit because they're a little loopy and a little long. And I overcommitted to it big time. Right, waffling. So... I'm going to pop that in the middle. Beautiful. All right, so I have made two tags. They did take me way too long, but that's okay. I've got nowhere else to be, and Louise is doing all the hard work today. <laughs> Love that. Um, so there we go. So thickers can look fantastic. Um, this could also do with a touch of gold paint. So look at me. See, I'm supposed to be finishing this off. Oh, that's a lot of gold paint. That's funny. And the gold ties in with the... The thickers and just a just a gentle swipe to work there. And with you, when you put too much on, like I just did, because you know that's a thing, I can just wipe it off. So now it just has a, a, a sprinkle, just a sprinkle. All right, so for today only, you can get 20% off of stamps on nataliemay.com dot a u but the catch is you will only get 20 percent off if you put this code in all right it's not automatic i'm not doing the hard work for you it's all going to be on you have to do some of the work as well um and that's it from me i'm not going to talk anymore i'm going to um sign this off thank you very much I hope you are all having a fantastic day wherever you are. Don't forget to smile. Don't forget to check on your neighbours. Call your friends on the telephone. Don't text them. Everyone loves a chat, you know, mostly me. Um, but And don't call me because I'm busy making kits. <laughs> but I, I, I think it's important, okay, create something nice. Just be kind. Have a great day, guys. Wash your hands. Kiss your kids. Chat soon.